needed to prep for some things. I didn't have it ready when I got home. I, y'all don't want to hear all that. Let's just get into our subject for the day. DM for the youth them. Why do people keep saying, oh my God. I can't even say it because I've broken the habit. I used to say it sometimes too. You know, the person in heaven, the Lord, God, oh my. And then people add the word God at the end as a s- exclamatory statement. Why do people do that? It is not something that we should get in the habit of saying. I know people don't really like us, to, people to be told what to do. Don't tell me what to do, Dr. G. Nice. I have to tell you what to do because this was put in place to protect you and anything I know that's going to be helpful for you. I must share it. Now here's the deal. Here's what happens. First, let's, let's go around through some of the ways to stop saying it. And then I'll tell you why it's important to stay. So you can choose a couple of techniques. One, the substitution technique. You can say, oh my goodness. Some people even kind of fake the word God and say, oh my God. That's the substitution technique. Find something else to put at the end instead of the word God. Then, then you'll have, what's going on, Magic 8-Ball? And number two, then you have the elimination technique. You can just say, oh my, oh my. Oh my, oh my. That sounds like a sub, like a sub, southern woman. Oh my. You can use oh my. That's the elimination technique. Just remove the ending altogether. Then number three, you can do the abbreviation technique, which is a lot of people do OMG. Honestly, if I was more skilled at graphics, I probably could just have them pop up on the screen as I say it, but you know what I'm saying. And so you can do the substitution, the elimination, and the abbreviation technique. There's one more technique that I'll go over, but before I do that, let's just really get into why is that even important for us to stop saying that? Listen, here's the deal. It is a whole commandment. I'd gone over the commandments with you all before, and it really is. This one, the third commandment actually says, thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. And I know we don't talk like that anymore. What does that mean? Take the Lord, that name, Lord, thy God in vain. What kind of English is that? Basically, it's like you just don't use God's name as like a curse word or a statement of exclamation. You can use it when you're referring to them. It's kind of like when people use mf -er. I'm trying to, I, I used to curse, not a lot. And I really make it a, a effort not to curse that much anymore. Anyway, mf -er. would you say that to your mom? It's like you're calling your mom something bad. It's the same thing. You would not say to the word God just loosely, using it as a, just like a every commonplace word. It's not a commonplace word when you're referring to the creator of the universe, the person that created you. you sh it should be reverent. Are there any names that you just, oh, it comes off your mouth. It's just special. It needs, we reserve extreme speech for extreme situations. Yes, Magic 8-Ball, especially. And that's what I'm going to. Because it's a whole commandment, we need to avoid just using it loosely. And that comes in to our last way uh, way to stop using it. We can use the creative technique, the finding another exclamatory statement. You could say jeepers creepers, man, fiddly D great balls of fire. <laughs> what? Uh, let me know in the comment section below. Any creative ways that you can think of to use to make some other exclamatory, exclamatory statements, anything that you need to 
in our extreme situations to scream extreme emotion, happy, sad, surprised, whatever, instead of using OMG or oh my, G you know what I'm trying to say, the God, add God to it. Instead of using that as our speech these days, find something else. Find a substitute. They're cool phrases. <sighs> Lord, I'm trying to remember one of them that I used to use. It's been a while. I'm sorry. My brain's getting old and I can't remember. But let me know in the comment section below what's a good one. Fire truck. <laughs> Yes, fire truck. That's a good one. I may start using that one. I like it. There is one I used to use. I just can't remember. Anyway, let me know in the comment section below if you think of a cool one that we can use instead of saying, oh my, and adding God's name in that blank space. If you can think of something else, let me know. In the meantime,